Hello, Claire Finley here, Acting Associate Principal at Helsham Community College. Teaching and learning during lockdown has become quite comprehensive and quite difficult. There are different strands to teaching and learning depending what context and what situation your child is in. I want to try and explain to you about the different methods and the different approaches to teaching and learning that we've adopted at Helsham Community College during this time. There are five different approaches. So if your child is in school, they will be having face-to-face -face teaching and learning from a delivery perspective. If they're isolating, if they're just generally at home, if they're in the key work provision, they may well be having a much more blended approach to teaching and learning. And that involves live lessons, that involves pre-recorded lessons, that might involve work being set on Firefly, and that also involves using video clips. Those video clips can be used from Bite Size, they can be used from YouTube, can be used from the Oak Academy, and there are lots of other resources that staff may put into those lessons which make them incredibly blended and mixed. How a staff member decides which is the, pro the appropriate teaching and learning mechanism to use very much depends on where they're at in terms of their teaching, where the students need to be, what the context is. So members of staff who are isolating themselves from home will use a lot of pre-recorded material. Some may use live lessons, but please always remember that with a live lesson there has to be another member of staff on chat for safeguarding reasons. If your child does not understand something and they are working from home, please encourage them to email the member of staff directly and ask them questions. It's really important that the, that dialogue between email is kept up between student and staff member, as if they were in a classroom. If your child cannot access a live lesson, those lessons are always recorded and uploaded onto Firefly. We really hope blended learning will ensure that your child will end up doing and being the best that they can be. We all want to work together with you and we ask that you contact myself if you have any questions about teaching and learning at the college via my email which is findleyc at hcc18.net. I will also be sending out a leaflet to you which explains in very clearly what blended learning is about and will be on our website. I'd just like to say thank you very, very much and I really, really hope that you will find this video clip supportive in helping you to understand and in turn further support your child learning from home. Take care, be safe, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Mr Gandan, I'm here to talk to you about live lessons. Blended learning is happening every day and members of staff are setting tasks for your son or daughter to access via Firefly. Firefly is our learning platform and every day they reset a blended learning task from their teacher. Now this may involve a live segment or it may involve a range of different tasks such as quizzes, third party websites such as Oak National and MassWatch or it may just be a worksheet based, PowerPoint based task. Now, if you want to fail to access that, the, mem the member staff will set the task on that day with live lesson written on it, and it will have a date and also the name of the subject. When the, your son or daughter opens the task, they will be able to see a link to that lesson. If they click on that link, they can then access the lesson. I recommend them getting there five minutes before the lesson starts so they can be put into the lobby and they can wait for the lesson to begin. During the lesson, what you can expect from a live lesson is obviously the member staff delivering. There's a chat function on there to interact with the member staff and there may be interactive quizzes uh, and other worksheets on there. So that will all be available in a live lesson. But a blended learning isn't just live lessons being taught by a teacher. It can also include, as I said, um, interactive quizzes which may be done on forms that give immediate feedback to the pupil about how they've got on. It can also include uh, links to external websites which also have a range of resources. So that's what can be done. Now most Firefly tasks would also require the, the student to do some work and submit it at the end. And there's a range of ways that the student can do that. If they've got a computer and they can download it and complete it and email it back onto Firefly, that is fine. If they haven't got a way of printing it, they can obviously do it on a bit of paper, take a photo and submit their work that way. And our staff can access their work, the picture, they can annotate on it and they can give feedback. And that's the, the only way that we can really improve learning is we give feedback to students regularly. So we want to see them uploading what they're doing. 
Now at the end of each lesson, um, there will be feedback provided by the teacher and then obviously there'll be a range of lessons for that day. If you're unable to log on to the task or you can't view the live lesson, you just need to email the member of staff who is running that lesson. If you're still unable to get your son or daughter onto Firefly or any of the individual uh, websites that link to any of the tasks, then I'd recommend emailing their mentor who will then be able to find out the login details and send them to you. I hope this is helpful and you'll be able to access the live learning and blended learning going on at the present time. Thank you.